about this weather that our meteorologist Paul Deano, I have no idea. Paul? Oh, there, there are many people, but you're stuck with me this morning. So <laughs> uh, here's what we have going on. Live radar showing you the peninsula in Los Angeles County. Palos Verdes, San Pedro, Long Beach, Torrance just pouring for the past hour, hour and a half. Some of you have had an inch of rain in less than the past two hours. We head north into the San Fernando Valley. The 405 corridor is a mess right on through Van Nuys, heading up toward Panorama City and out of the valley, uh, past San Fernando, up towards Santa Clarita. Burbank, Studio City getting poured on. You can see there's a pretty defined line there that's hugging the 405. West of there, it gets more scattered. But east of there, including many of our inland valleys and much of Metro Los Angeles and Orange County, it is absolutely pouring. These are the rainfall totals from the past one hour. Not the storm, just one hour. Van Nuys and Santa Clarita, about one quarter of an inch. Palos Verdes, Long Beach, Malibu, half of an inch of rain in one hour. At the airport, LAX, three quarters of an inch of rain in just the past hour. So you may be wondering, when is this the worst of this storm going to be finished? In Ventura, it's pretty soon. It's wrapping up right now. In LA County, it's done in about one hour at 9 o'clock. Orange County and the Inland Empire later, because it's moving south and moving southeast. Inland Empire, you're going to get some heavy rain through lunchtime. Orange County through about 11 o'clock. And the next storm, which may begin as early as Sunday, could be twice as wet as this one. That would be a significant amount of rainfall. Let's get through this one first. Urban and small stream flood advisory. Between now and 10 o'clock, this just got extended two hours for L.A. County Street and highway flooding is ongoing and likely to continue for the next couple hours. Winter storm warning, highest elevations, it's already snowing. The snow level will lower as this boundary moves through. As low as 4,500 feet, we could see three inches of snow, but more than a foot of snow above 7,000 feet. It is uh, rainy at the pier in Santa Monica. It is rainy in Long Beach as well. Visibility only one mile because of the low cloud cover. And here's some great news. It's snowing at Big Bear at lake level, not resort level, lake level. It is snowing in 32 degrees. The strong front is moving through Southern California right now. You can follow the trail of rain all the way up to Portland and Seattle. Uh, that is how wide the impact is from this one storm. 8 o'clock, heavy rain pushing east, but staying there through at least 11 or 1130 in portions of the Inland Empire in Southern Orange County. Then we go into scattered shower mode. You'll get even some sunshine this afternoon, but when it rains, you'll get a quick downpour, 10, 15 minutes, another quarter of an inch of rainfall, some scattered thunderstorms possible as well. And that continues through about 8.30. <clears throat> then we wrap up storm number one. We'll get some sunshine tomorrow, even more sunshine on Saturday. But look at this. There is a tropical connection to the rain. You can follow the rain west of Los Angeles this weekend all the way south of Hawaii. We're tapping into the tropics. So this next storm is going to be really juicy. It arrives Sunday evening, and that bullseye again is right over us as we begin the week. Next week, we could see several inches of rain from that storm. Very soggy this morning, scattered showers and downpours this afternoon. We do get a break Friday and Saturday, a long duration storm. We have rain chances Sunday through Wednesday, uh, so potentially even wetter next week. Let's see how the roads are doing this morning. My, my guess is not that great. Here's Colleen. <laughs> I feel like that's almost an understatement this morning, Paul. Um, I want to bring you out to the next traffic center here where we have all these monitors and cameras and maps and people checking on what's going on out there. So this is the Inland Empire. This is 91 at Green River where you can see cars are still slowing down, but also in the eastbound direction, looks like they're pretty much stopped right here. So I'll check on that and see if there might be some type of traffic break happening. But you can see as you try to get on the on-ramp, that's pretty much stuck. Here's a 15 northbound right at Temescal Canyon. That is slammed as you try to head through that area up to the 91. So that is also slowing down this morning. And this is a look at the CAD for the Inland Empire where we have more than 30 incidents that crews are working out there to try to clear up. I also do have a really big problem in our map this morning. I want to take you out to this um, other monitor here so you can get a better glance at it. This is northbound 405 before Ventura Boulevard. We do have the right lane blocked off. Now with this one, we have a camera showing what's happening here. You can see the fire department on scene. You can see traffic really uh, just moving so slowly and the impact from the rain too in both directions. So southbound traffic will take you about 41 minutes to get through and we again still have the northbound traffic as well. New reports of flood on the 10 eastbound in Santa Monica. I will have more on this coming up. Ladies, back to you. Lena, thank you. Time right now, 7.51. It is officially Black History Month.